Hey guys, I honestly cannot put into words right now how angry I am. <laughs> um, but this is also a video for any mums out there that have got the Joey 360 spin to check your car seats. Had I not have gone to take the covers off this yesterday to give it a clean before I was going up country, I wouldn't have noticed this. So at the very bottom of my Joey 360 spin, which I've only had just over 12 months, Hang on, because it so um got you 360 so it spins right at the bottom here. The seat belt has started to fray. I'm gonna get you in closer so you can see. Hang on, can you see this? Dun, 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 dun. So the seat belt here has started to fray. I am absolutely fuming because this is my child's safety. My child's safety, like that has been massively compromised. This was brought brand new. I don't buy secondhand car seats just because I think, like I wanna know that they've not been dropped up in an accident, like because my child's safety is so important. So I did the right thing. I emailed them, I showed them some photos and I explained what had happened. And I said, you know, I'm absolutely mortified. Like. This has basically compromised his safety. Like if I was to have an accident and that actually broke, like I don't even want to think about the worst case scenario because I'm so, so upset. Um, so they said to me, they said, oh, it's because, um, oh, what do they say in their email back? Basically it was my fault because um, I've been pulling on the straps unevenly. Bull, because. <laughs> when you eat car seat, I have to lift this all up just for demonstration purposes. There's your car seat, right? They said that you should pull your seat, as um, the belts out, and put them either side before you get your child in, which I always do. Now, when you then, I'm just gonna have to show you, I'm so angry, I'm so angry. Hang on, I'm pulling the bloody thing apart. So I'm gonna clip in, can you see this? Clip in child is now in the car seat. Now, the bottom straps don't move. So my child is now strapped in this car seat. When I pull the toggle at the bottom, the bit that gets tighter, it's really hard not doing it when I do, is the top. We have movement at the top. The bottom straps are fixed. I replied back to them saying, if you know your product, you would know that they do not move. There is absolutely nothing, right? Nothing for the car seat at the bottom here. So you just see that then they move, that makes it bigger, you pull it, that goes tighter. Nothing to do with the bottom of the car seat here where the seat belt started to fray. There is absolutely nothing, right, for this to move or to catch on, okay? There's nothing. This has started to fray, this is foam. You know, it's not gonna, a seat belt rubbing on bloody foam is not gonna cause that. He uses his bloody high chair more, more often than the car seat. And the seat belt, the belts on that are completely intact. So, mums out there, you would not necessarily see this um, unless you look for it. So please, if you've got a Jerry stage, um, bloody hell, I've got the receipt here somewhere. The Jerry 360 spin, you'll know exactly what I'm about. Please check it. Um, I don't mind the fact that you know, the foam has worn in places because it's foam, do you know what I mean? But not the seat belt, not the main safety aspect of having a car seat, which is the straps that keep your child secure into it. I'm absolutely livid. Um, I don't feel they've taken me seriously at all. They basically tried coming back at me and saying it was my fault, which I will not, like, like, and even if it, well, I'm not even gonna accept it's my fault because I know it's not. Um, but say that it was the top straps or whatever and I had been doing it unevenly, for example, they should fucking let you know that when they buy it, but it's not the top straps. The movement, which, you know, that you get from pulling this strap down the bottom to tighten and loosen the movements at the top, not the bottom. Mum is the human. So yeah, please guys, if you've got one, please check it just for your child's safety because I've been absolutely fucking mortified about an accident and his safety was compromised as a result of this, so. Please guys, please check your Joey car seats. Lift up, lift up, unpop it at the back, lift it up and check the very base. You know, if this went in for an OT, it would fail. Guys, be safe and check your car seats. Take care.